Did you learn anything about that? You know, I suppose I did. Uh, it was interesting being on the inside of an exit poll because, uh, you know, people do this for a living and they're trying to predict what's coming out in the election and find out what's going to happen before the results are released. And um, it was an interesting experience being on this side of that and, you know, wondering do we have a large enough sample in to predict it? Are we going to be right? Are we going to have things worked out the way it works? Especially when they saw an exit poll on my badge and everything like that, and they were very suspicious overall as a group. Okay. I, uh, Matt Brogdon. I, um, I'm an undergraduate student at the University of West Florida here. Well, I got yelled at by the representative from the NAACP. Yeah. So. We have four in elections 2004 class that's been put together to um, to watch the election cycle this time. Um, that we, we've decided to do an exit poll as part of that class to really give us a, um, an involved learning experience with it. I had a lot of people on in a hurry on the way. I didn't even bother messing with women that had kids. Yeah. <laughs> but people would walk past me like I didn't exist. You know, they didn't even give me the option. To even, you know, I got to where I had to actually step in front of people and say, can I take a moment of your time? You know, we're expecting somewhere in excess of a thousand surveys to be returned. Like I said, we printed 2,300. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say we'll probably get back 13 or 1,400, which is a good sample. Um, of course, about 800 surveys would be a fully sufficient sample for a statistical distribution, and 1,500 is uh, as good as it can get. Uh, it's, it's a really useful skill, understanding, I guess, the, the organization of the thing and uh, kind of understanding the beast. Yeah, and basically it starts, and I think the schedule starts in July, which is really just a, um, you know, figuring out who you're going to use, you know, getting a rough idea of where am I going to get pollsters, and um, you know, uh, getting a class together and that kind of thing. Uh, my name is Patrick Avesa, and I'm participating in a grant uh, research project um, for the University of West Florida. Uh, in August and September, you start looking at how many pollsters you're going to have. Um, you contact the supervisor of elections, find out is there any preliminary preparations that we need to make. Um, make sure that you know the, the regulations for the county because, of course, you don't want to get to the day and then turn up that you've forgotten something or you're not authorized to do something to really throw things off. Well, this is actually the first exit polling that um, I've ever conducted and it was definitely an interesting experience. You start counting up what kind of supplies you're going to have to have. Of course, you got to have clipboards, you have to have, I mean, that's a lot of paper if you're talking about having 40 pollsters, 20 precincts, two weeks of convenience voting, one day of the general election. Um, I think we printed up 2,300 surveys. That's a lot of printing to do, so of course you got to get that worked out. For those who uh, did accept to fill out the surveys were at first slightly hesitant um, and didn't really promote or didn't, I didn't really get a sense of feeling that they really wanted to or that they were eager to express their opinions, but more so just out of me kind of blindsiding them and um, kind of helping me out, I guess. Somebody's going to sharpen the pencils, <laughs> stuff in envelopes. Uh, I think we send people to the polls with a packet that basically has a letterhead from the university um, with Dr. Evans' contact information on it and so forth. And that they run into any problems at the precincts. Because, uh, of course, they have a lot of poll watchers now, a lot of, a lot of attorneys from the parties and stuff sitting at the polls. And, you know, they, they want to know who's there talking to voters um, and making sure that it's not somebody intimidating voters. Um, that it's not somebody, you know, soliciting things at the poll, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, we try to make sure that we send them with stuff. Uh, of course, we've got name tags that we made up. Um, you know, try to give it a, an, an official look. You know, try to make sure that, that students feel, uh, well, A, that people look at them and, and, you know, at first sight realize that they're doing something legitimate and official. 
and secondly making sure that the student feels like they're doing something legitimate and official um, to make sure that they really feel like uh, they have a reason to be there and um, they feel confident in what they're doing and if they do have to approach a poll worker or, or people begin asking them questions that they feel prepared to answer those. I try to, to the best of my ability, um, target every third person coming out of um, the polls, but it didn't always work, obviously, but I tried to get as many people, um, or ask as many people as I could. Uh, obviously, there were always going to be bias on the part of the pollster, um, and the people that he or she offers the survey to, you know, um, there's going to be a small amount of uh, the pollster, you know, naturally gravitating or asking people um, that seem like-minded to fill out the survey more sympathetic to them. It's, it's nice to see people um, still believing in the system and getting out and expressing, you know, expressing their beliefs and opinions through their vote. Hey, Russell, what are you doing? I'm just checking out my poll slot. One time I have to go, mm -hmm. making sure I got the right yeah. poll. Don't want to go the wrong one. And what are you going to do when you get there? I uh, will be uh, doing exit polls for people you, after they've done voting. And just, uh, you know, they'll be doing their anonymous ballot, <laughs> or anonymous poll, you know. And just, just got to fill it up. Try to get as many as I can. How are you going to decide who to talk to? Uh, every few people that walk by, basically, so it's more random and just... You know, basically, not everybody's going to want to do it, so just whoever I can get to do it. And what are you taking with you? What are you here to pick up? I had to come pick up a packet. You want to take a look at the packet? It's my packet with all my information for the uh, for the polls and the kind of instructions on, you know, there's requirements you have to follow and everything, so I got all that in here. You know what those are? Or are you going to read over? I got to read over a little bit more, but, you know, things like I think you have to be 30 or 40 feet away from the uh, actual booths, like poll inside. Um, unless it was raining, I think they might make an exception and let us inside. But we are this is authorized to do it, and we do not need to be on a list of because any sort. Because they're, they're oh, thinking the same that need we, to list. we're Tell like her that we are lawyers or, right. or poll watchers, right. and mm -hmm. that we have to have our name on some kind of list. So we don't. We're doing an anonymous exit poll, and there's we don't have to be on any kind of a list. And we've spoken to the supervisor of elections about it. Yeah. Okay. But on the safe side, just... I'll just start getting them until they kick me out, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. You got it. You I got clipboards? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I had them from last time, so I'm one of the bad guys. Awesome. I'll bring it back this time. Okay. Bye, okay. Bye. I actually did one of these polls, and it takes it takes less than five minutes. Um, and uh, if you... If you, don't if you don't tell them it's a poll, you just tell them a survey, they're more likely to fill it out, honestly. Uh, unfortunately, now in this country, it's turned out that people are very weary of filling out any poll data because they either don't understand it, misunderstand it, or don't want to be part of a, of a poll research system. If you want to come see the variables, uh, the candidate that was voted for and different uh, value tabs, leadership, uh, his uh, good experience, needed change cares, and these are no, 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 yes, and all these are tabulated with a zero or one. Then you move on to other issues um, such as taxes, abortion, terror, um, Iraqi war, Iraq war, um, social security, health care, jobs, gay marriage, family values, all of this, and it's important, not important. Then you move on to prior, um, other issues, who did you vote for last time, who did you vote for in the House, do you believe in divided government, and then you move on to personal attributes of the individual voters. You move on to first time parent, military student, retired, uh, etc. And then last section is your party, what you consider yourself, uh, conservative, um, uh, central, uh, liberal, and then how you view the country, birth, education, gender, race. These are controls here, these are very important. And uh, then of course marital status, religion, and uh, your, e your uh, economic status. So how long is it going to take you to enter the stack of data? Uh, it took me well, it took me about two and a half hours to fill out 59 of them, 59 of them uh, to make sure it's correct. So it'll take me, you know, it'll do take me a couple days to get this stuff done. Working in increments of about four or five hours. Of course, we're about halfway through the day today, and we had uh, I know we had one situation uh, already where a girl was approached. Um, 
by a gentleman. She was Asian in descent, um, and apparently he approached her, uh, man, very angry about immigration issues and so forth, and just approached her and, from what I understand, fairly spontaneously just began, you know, um, berating her about things and really upset her. Uh, so that's the only real issue we've had with that, and we had one person asked to leave a poll apparently by a poll worker because um, the poll worker thought that they had to have some sort of written authorization, much like the attorneys and things that are at the polls. Um, but of course, like I said before, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of communication that goes on beforehand. Um, I've personally spoken to the supervisor of elections uh, two or three times. Um, to make sure that we know, uh, you know, to call back and say, just wanted to make sure there's not a form we need to fill out. There's not a, uh, there's not something our, our pollsters need to be bringing to the polls with them. You know, that kind of thing, just to make sure that you don't have big surprises come up. Um, and so far, from what I can see, it's worked out fairly well. So uh, our preparations seem to have paid off. Um, I think we've spent sufficient time, and I think we got the supplies we need. And uh, of course, we've got another four hours, <laughs> and we'll know for sure. <laughs> that was the best face of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Mixture of phases. Oh man! I'm just cleaning off my clipboard. Okay. The same sort of little clipboard juggling that I've been doing all night. Oh gosh, yeah. you get good at that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And putting the things in with one hand in the wind. Oh man. <laughs> Those are ones that just... You've got to have like the dexterity of an astronaut to balance you. those clipboards and be pulling them off and stuff in envelopes. Need a pen? So how did today go out at the polls with the people you talked to? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, as... Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. As it got later, people got sort of tired and less likely to <laughs> want to have anything to do with it, so, but uh, it wasn't too bad. How many people do you think you talked to today? Uh, I got, there's probably 30 polls in there, which is how many I got in the probably hour and 20 minutes that I worked on Saturday, so, but I think that the, I think it was just sort of the lateness, people were tired, wanted to leave. Um, Whereas the, the limiting factor, well, it, hadn't, it didn't rain at all where I was during the time that I was really? there. Um, the limiting factor on Saturday was that they had to wait in line for three hours <clears throat> and were just ready to be gone and didn't want to be at the courthouse any longer. But it was interesting. Any crazy stuff? No. <laughs> no? No, it was, it was one of the few. much less eventful than uh, the courthouse on Saturday, definitely. Why? What was happening then? Well, there was a rally. During the time that I was there on Saturday, mm -hmm. which was, was that interesting. The, was that when Wesley Clark is in town? Oh no, <clears throat> no, that was just this past Saturday. It was just a local, local rally. And they marched up Government Street and. <laughs> on what issue or for what candidate? Carrie. Yeah. Just sort of on that, in general. And then they chanted for Castor for a little while, but I mean, it was sort of an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> and vote for Castor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and by the way. Yeah. Well, starting this morning, probably about uh, 7 30, 8 o'clock, we had students coming in. Yeah! They would uh, come in and pick up their packets, something like this, have their surveys, pencils, name tags, uh, directions, all that kind of thing in the packet. They take that, um, check in with uh, Dr. Evans. As you can see, her office is a bit chaotic at the moment. We've been entering data. Uh, things are a little cluttered. Once they got done with that, they would of course make their way to the polls, um, spend two hours at the polls. Uh, some of them would have to go to two different polls in the course of the day. We tried to hit the high spots throughout the day, uh, rush hours, early morning, um, you know, 7 to 9, uh, lunch time, 12 to 1, and then 4 to 6 in the afternoon. Polls have actually just closed about five minutes ago, so we're waiting to see results from that, see what happened. Um, our own results at the moment are about 4060 Bush for Scambia County, so we're waiting for the rest of that to come in. Um, of course, winding down, trying to get the rest of the surveys uh, entered, the rest of the data. Um, 
and that'll probably take us the rest of the night, maybe some of tomorrow to finish that up. Um, if I had to estimate, I'd say we got close to a thousand ballots. Of course, some students haven't brought back their surveys yet. Um, we're hoping for a sample of a thousand or more. Uh, we had estimated about 1,300 probably, so it may wind up being that by the time all of them come in. Um, Overall, were you happy with what happened today? I was. I thought it worked out rather well. We had very few problems. Um, we only had one or two students that had problems at the polls with poll workers, you know, uh, unhappy with what was going on, and most of that was misunderstandings about what the rules were. So, um, yeah, we're really happy with how that turned out. We, uh, we feel like everything went really well. Of course, I, I don't think that we ran into any logistical problems. Everything seems, all of our planning seems to have paid off. Uh, all the supplies seem to have showed up and seems to have been sufficient. As we speak now, we're waiting for results to come in from some of the other states. Of course, uh, a lot of the Northeast has come in, polls have closed. Uh, of course, Florida's going to be a little while before we find out, and that's going to be a big deal. Um, find out where Florida stands because a lot of the polls are showing it coming right down to us. So we'll see how that works out. at least every fourth person was probably a woman in her middle ages. So it's very hard to be random at, <laughs> at a precinct. So. I had a problem being random because I actually had people come back and yell at me for not picking them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they would get offended, same. right? Yeah, they were, no I had, and then they would go through the line and tell everybody about how mean I was for not picking them to participate in the poll. And so I'd be standing there going, well, what, 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 I'm not the enemy, I'm just trying to get an idea of what I had I had a lot of anxious people to know what I was doing and like like they were saying and they were like what are you doing I explained to them and they'd be like would you like to fill one out and they're like no <laughs> <laughs> it was, I had like the worst day with it and like like it was like I got twenty surveys and it was 50, it was ten for Carrie and ten for Bush in an area that was probably about seventy to seventy five percent Bush but there were so many more Bush people that were like no. No, like this one guy was telling me that I was going to try to take the election away from Bush with my exit polling. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> How many of you guys didn't really fully know what an exit poll was before this experience and felt like you really learned a whole lot? I mean, yeah? Yeah, I did, for sure. I was just going to say the same thing. There's a lot of suspicion. Um, I was hearing um, 
some radio reports about you know the lawyers out there trying to mess up the election and getting kicked out of precincts, that kind of thing. But um, one guy walked up, it's you know old redneck conservative guy walks up and he gets in my face and says, "What are you doing here?" And I said, "I'm just doing a, a survey." He goes. Oh, I thought you were those Democrats trying to mess up the election. <laughs> I was like, no, sir, university, no, sir. There was a lot of animosity yesterday all over town. Yeah, I had a lot of people that thought it involved money because I'd explain the whole process and they'd say, well, I don't have any money. And so I had to, like, go back. And it was it was really a lot of older people that came back. And so, they, you know, I'd explain it and they'd say, well, I don't have any money. So I was just like, we're having a good day. <laughs> but I hope that... Our work here today, at the very least, maybe motivates people to get a little bit more passionate um, about the process. If, if not the process or getting involved in the process, at least um, a, little a little bit more passionate about their vote and um, the difference that it makes.